So you might have seen in a previous video that we made our own hitbox and then we used that hitbox to make this really cool mini arcade. Well, we're revisiting the hitbox because I found another design that includes an OLED screen. So if you have no idea what a hitbox is, it's basically an arcade stick without the stick. Sounds kind of weird, I know. But instead of having like a traditional joystick or analog stick, you have buttons for up, down and left, right. And then you've got all the other buttons for punch, kick, etc. Because these are primarily used for fighting games like Street Fighter, Tekken or Mortal Kombat. So now we know what one is, what do you actually need to make one of these yourself? So there's a few things you're going to need, like 3D printed shells, microcontrollers like the RP2040, you'll need buttons, switches, maybe some resistors, a PCB, RGB LEDs of course, and one of those little OLED screens. But let's go ahead and go to the top down camera and have a look at some of the parts that we're going to need for this build. So here we have it. We have everything we're going to need to build this hitbox with OLED screen. Now here we have some resistors and LEDs. The resistors are for the LEDs. And as always, there's going to be links in that description below so you can pick up all these parts yourself. The main brain is this RP2040 Tiny. You've probably seen these being used as mod chips for switches, but we're actually using it today as a controller for the hitbox. We've got one of these little OLED screens, and these are really cheap. They're like 80 cents or 60 pence. We've got some of these tactile buttons. We're going to need six of these to change the modes, etc. And we've gone for some low profile Cherry MX red switches that have a see through top so they can accommodate for that RGB. Now, this is the PCB we're using. Thank you to JLC PCB. Now, this PCB has got something a little bit special, as you've probably seen. I've got my logo color printed on this PCB as you can see here. Now as you've probably guessed, JLC PCB is the sponsor of today's video. But before we go into that so I can pay the bills, let's have a look at the rest of the parts we're gonna need. So of course, what's the point of having a fancy PCB if no one can see it? So we're gonna be using this clear, transparent, 3D resin printed top shell by JLC 3dp now they've made the top shell and they've also made some other parts just to make this build look really cool so we have a lens cover for that oled screen and as you can see it's just going to pop in the back now if you do use say a normal 3d printed fdm shell then this lens is obviously going to be really important so you can see through it the buttons, again, are made by JLC3DP. They're transparent, resin printed, and of course, this is just gonna look amazing when it's all put together. So as I said, this video is sponsored by JLC PCB. Now, projects like this just wouldn't be possible without JLC PCB because they manufacture most of the PCBs used in all my videos. In their state-of-the-art facility, their experts are on hand to help you bring your ideas to life. They offer a fast, reliable service that's really competitive on pricing, and it's super easy to order online. So let's order some PCBs now. So we're on the JLC PCB website. We're gonna drag and drop those Gerber files across. And as you can see, we've got a PCB here for an ESP32. It's for an upcoming project. You've got your dimensions, the quantity. Here you can select the thickness. So we'll go for one millimeter. And then we can change the color of the board. Maybe go for a white. Actually, no, black. Black looks better. Look at that, $2.10. And if you look at the coupons, they've got tons of coupons because they're always running offers and coupons. So for more information and the latest offers, check the link in the description below and bring your ideas to life. Now, thanks again to JLC for sponsoring this video. 
Now, if you have seen that previous video, or maybe you haven't seen it, go click up there somewhere, go and check it out, because we go through the soldering, the setup, etc. For all intents and purposes, this hitbox is exactly the same as the other one, apart from that OLED screen. And of course, that is controlled in the software. Now, in the description below, you're going to have all the links you need for the GitHub for the Flatbox, and you're also going to have all the installation software and 3D files so you can make one yourself. And I highly recommend it. It's a cheap, fun project to do, and I actually never used one until I started making these videos. I actually really like it, and I use it quite regularly, especially on that Hitbox Arcade. That's another great project go click up there somewhere go check out that video as well so as i said we're not going to go through all the soldering because you can check all that out in the previous video but we still need to get all these parts soldered on so i call upon the editing magic and we're just going to quickly snap our fingers and it's all done but jokes aside, it only took me about 15-20 minutes to get all these switches and the RP2040 installed, etc. Now, it is a really good first sort of starter project if you want to learn soldering. Now, of course, it's time to put the shell on. Now, the back shell is just this orange FDM printed one because I don't really care about the back it's the front that we're going all transparent with that stuff that JLC3DP made for us. So I just FDM printed this on my Bamboo Lab A1 and then we're going to put that clear shell from JLC3DP. It looks amazing. Next is just a simple case of putting all seven screws in the back of the shell to hold the front to the back and just to hold the whole thing together. So as I go and put the screws in at super fast speed, we're going to put the seven screws in the back and once we've done that we're going to put those clear buttons onto the switches themselves and then we're going to have a look at it once it's all done so if we have a look at the final results it really does look amazing all the buttons feel fantastic just like with the other hitbox but let's get it plugged in and make sure that oled screen works so i'm just plugging it into power at the moment and not into the pc and as soon as we plug it in, we can see the screen light up and all the buttons. So we've got everything set up perfect. Turning the light off, we can see those LEDs a little bit better and it really does look cool. So we've made loads of videos on projects recently, stuff that you can put together yourself and then use one of the 3D printers to make a case, etc. Now, I'm asking you guys now, what do you want to see me build and make? We've made docs for the Vita with Dammit Jeff. We're making a PS2 classic at the moment and that video should come out real soon. So if you don't want to miss it, you already know what to do. But anyway, we've made docs for the Steam Deck. We've got another video coming real soon. You can probably just about see it behind me. It's an RGB charging stand for the PlayStation Portal. So we've got so many cool projects coming up and we've also done so many cool projects. So go to the videos, go to the channel and check out all the stuff that I've made so far. But I really wanna know what you guys want me to do next. Now it doesn't have to be something that exists and I'll just go online, find the files, print it and make it. It could be something that I have to design myself from scratch. I'm always up for a challenge. So in the comments below, just imagination run wild just put some ideas out there at what you think that would be really cool for me to design build and then do a video on because i get the most satisfaction and enjoyment out of the projects where i've designed it myself like the steam deck dock the playstation vita dock the playstation portal charging stand and of course that mini arcade those sort of projects are really fun and satisfying for me and i hope you guys enjoy the videos as well so that's about it for this video but please find it in your hearts to like subscribe and then hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos i'm jp and as always i'll catch you in the next one